Hi, I'm Natsumi with Fit and Fit. Today's video is yoga for patella tendonitis. Let's begin. So patella tendonitis is often caused by muscle imbalance. So overuse of front muscle as of not enough use of back leg muscle. So, so we're gonna work on, uh, first we're gonna release, uh, release the tension from patella tendon here, and then stretch front quadricep muscle. Then we're gonna start working on the back leg hamstring muscle and also glute. Okay, so today, if you have a yoga strap, uh, bring it there. And if you don't have a strap, it is okay. Uh, you can use a uh, towel and enroll it and make it like a long strap, okay? okay. Fast. So we are going to do uh, here the patella tendon is right underneath patella. Here, attached to uh, tibia, tibiatic bone. So we're gonna grab with your thumb and then, um, you know, index finger to grab. And right now we're gonna do the cross fiber uh, massage, like move not, not uh, vertical way to the side, horizontal way. Really subtle, gentle, and small movement. It doesn't have to be big. Just a little bit. Um, release tension. To the side. Okay? And even though let's say you are pain on the one side here, but I always recommend you do it both sides. Yeah. Even though the pain is appear to one leg, but both legs uh, varying those uh, stress. Mm -hmm. Same way, try to move patella tendon to the side, horizontal way. Okay, after that, so you, we are let, keeping your belly button down. Okay, and then gonna use strap. Wrap around on your feet. And then a little bit of lift up. And lift up your knee and then pull strap forward. So you feel really good quadricep stretch. So often overused and tightness of front thigh, front of your leg cause this uh, strain, this stress. So make sure to really stretch quadricep. Knee higher and forward. And it is. And let's do the other side. Flick around the opposite leg. And and lift up your knee and pull strap forward. I recommend take five deep breaths here.
Now it is. So right now, let's put strap to the side. And from here, so let's keep your palms down and bend your knee. And we are going to kind of kick up. So let's flex your toes and kick up your heel to the ceiling. So imagine we here, we are really, really walking on back hamstring and also glute. So we have to strengthen this muscle, back leg muscle, to release, elevate uh, a little bit to the ease down the pain. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Maybe around there, if you want to do more, feel free to do so. And let's do the other side. Bend your knee and flex your ankle and kick your heel up. One. To really focus on three, four, hamstring, glute, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release. Now bend your knee and keep your toes point. Same way, toes lifting up to the ceiling. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. While you do this movement, I recommend both uh, hip bone flat on the mat. Ready? Bend your knee, keep your toes, point. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Now let's get into tabletop pose on your four palm heel down underneath your shoulders. Knee open about your hip distance. And from here, a little bit uh, similar to what we had, but in tabletop pose. Lift up your knee and flex your toes and three leg tabletop balance and one. Two, square hips, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. When we do this exercise, try to keep your pelvis square. Not this way. Watch me. Not this way. Okay? Don't open up your hips for this exercise. Keep your pelvis one plane. Okay? Let's do the other side. Bend your knee, flex your toes, and lift up, kick your heel to the sky, and really put your brain to the hamstring and uh, glute. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It is. Let's just repeat the other side with point. Ready? Square hips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. Let's do the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. Okay, now let's get into Squatting standing position. Stand up. So open your leg about your hip distance. Keep your toes straight and hands on your hips. Okay. Really, again, focus almost shifting your weight to the heels. And then, if you can, lift up your toes. And let's do the squatting. And then, really focus on the back of your legs and glute. Ready? One. So, I recommend. Your knee don't go beyond, you don't have to go so deep, so don't go beyond your torso. One, 
up. So see, uh, I almost like shifting your my weight so much to the heel that I kind of flexing and lifting up toes. But if it's too much, you don't have to. You can keep your toes straight like this. Um, but really, again, put your brain to here. Ready? Walk on this area. One, two. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Between five to ten, five to fifteen count of three sets. So today I'm gonna do ten uh, times three sets. Ready? Second set. One, two, three, four, five, six, sinking down the seven, eight, tailbone down, nine, ten. One more set. Ready? Deep breath, two, three, get ready, the last set, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and Damn. Good. So now let's lay down on your back. Okay. Then bring knee up, bending your knee, and keep your heels a little close to your hips. And from here, palm down, flat down, use as a support, and lift up. One leg. Mm -hmm. And from here, and lift up. One leg bridge. One, two, three, as high as possible. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten and relax. Deep three breaths. Ready? Lift up as a leg and bring hip pelvis high up to the sky. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and bring it down. Three breaths. Now let's do the bridge, both feet down and lift up your hips. Ready? So make sure to keep your heel close to your hips. And then knee, don't flare up. Okay, keep your knee about the hip distance uh, square and about straight. Okay, pointing your knee straight, not pointing out. Ready? Really, again, focus on glute and hamstring. We have to get stronger on around this back muscle, okay, in order to alleviate uh, tension and pain from here. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then I gonna do fifteen. One, two, three, four, and five. Slowly bring it down. Patella tendinitis can be very painful. Treating symptom will help, but you really want to work on the cause, such as muscle imbalance. I recommend you do this sequence regularly and make sure to subscribe to my channel and press the bell option to get notified of my future videos. And if you enjoy this sequence, press the thumbs up and leave us a comment. See you soon!